Oh. <laughs> Hello, Queens, and welcome to another 12 Days of Queen Miss here with moi. Sorry. <laughs> Chipotle just opened up. Closer to home for me, girl. I literally work like probably a stone throw down the road from it now. So that's bad. Anyway, um, I just have Chipotle, obviously, but we're shopping for, and as we, I mean, me and my brother are shopping for um, Christmas presents. Well, I'm shopping for Christmas presents. Oh, I thought I'd bring you along. So we're going to go into TJ Maxx right now. And then I don't know where else, but yeah, we have a few people on my list to get. Hopefully I can get this and get done and be done with it because we're literally a couple of days away from Christmas and shops are gonna be freaking wild. So we need to get this done. So I will see you probably in the store. Queens, I haven't shopped this late till Christmas in like ages, like literally a billion freaking years. I'm not used to the rush because I normally get my stuff done early and then like maybe like stocking stuffers, I'll go out and just like quick here and there, but like to actually be shopping, shopping, girl, I can't. Well, Queens, just got some people at Target. I got one thing for Kelsey. I got one thing for, what the hell did I get? Oh, one for Katrina stocking and two other little things. But now we're going to Walmart after this, probably going to Ocean State and then the dollar store. Like I said, get candy. I'm telling you, get candy at the dollar store for the stockings if you do stockings, girl. This right here is a crime. These candies rock. Nobody likes them. Hello, Queens. Oh. This music is way too loud. Hello, darling. So I just got out of work. It's currently the day before Christmas Eve. Today is going to be a very filled day. So I have to go drop presents off to everybody that I know that's not gonna be on Christmas, uh, or at Christmas Eve for us. I have to go bring it off to Latricia. I have to bring it off to my friend Ben, my brother Stanley, and then I am dropping off some goodies for Brittany and Jordan. Um, their presents aren't here yet, and it's, well, one of them is, but one of them is stuck in the mail somewhere. I have no idea where. So, with that being said, I'm giving them some goodies to keep them, you know, fed until they get their presents. But that's going to be all of it today. Um, but we're going to be doing a lot. So I figured I'd bring you along. This is probably going to be way after Christmas. Oh, oh, a <laughs> wow. Stop one of Santa Gomez is complete. They absolutely love their gifts. Um, Anari already had the pillow. I don't know if I showed you guys, but um, I don't think I did. I got Anari a blanket with a unicorn on it and then a pillow to match with it and it says believe on it. Apparently she already had the pillow, but now she has a blanket to go and obviously a second pillow to go with the set. And then I got my cousin, Latricia, Moscow Mule Mugs, four pack and a bath and body work set, which was like a little travel set, a spray, a lotion, a hand sanitizer, I think, or a body wash. And she loved the scent, so perfect. <laughs> now I'm off to drop the goodies off to my brother and Brittany. Hello, Hi. Queens. It's Benjamin. He hasn't been in a vlog this year since this year. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, since Queen Miss. No, you, you've been in the vlogs this year. Yeah. No, but I'm saying Queen Miss. Oh, yeah. This is your first appearance. Oh. I'm not that bitch that keeps my nose out of the mask, but right now, yes, we're going to Longhorn, not Longhorn, Steak. Texas Roadhouse. Texas Roadhouse, some fucking steakhouse, bitch. Ah, we're we did our Christmas. He gave me a Ulta gift card. Hi. Hi. Oh, I can't zoom in. Oh, that's okay. Hi. Oh, my God. <laughs> Hi. Oh my god, they're gonna eat Yeah. I should have said it was your birthday. Oh, no, I had to do that before. People are looking. <laughs> We're doing something gay right now in the straightest restaurant. <laughs> Ew. Oh, I dropped this thing on the floor. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> he missed my mouth again. He missed it twice. I can't talk right now. I'm doing hot girl stuff. Fuck being good, I'm a bad bitch. I'm sick of motherfuckers trying to tell me how. I can't. It's currently like six in the morning. Um, Katrina went to work. This was her first day back, and I am cooking. Well, starting the cooking process to my food. I'm cooking buffalo chicken sliders, which I've made twice before. I don't know if I've ever shown you guys on camera. Um, I made it for Thanksgiving, and um, I'm making spinach artichoke dip because it literally, oh my god, it's so freaking good. If you never had spinach artichoke dip, girl, you need to get on it because it's just so freaking good. But I'm gonna go start that now. I have wrapping to do, and it's just gonna be a long freaking day. <laughs> I need to take a nap already. I have the 
chicken in the crock pot with the buffalo to get all nice and shredded. Over here, we have the spinach artichoke dip. I'm waiting for the spinach part of the artichoke dip. And then we're also watching the Polar Express. It's 7.30 in the morning. I have only watched this once this year. This is one of my favorite Christmas movies. It's one of my favorite movies of all time. I just love the story. I just love the meaning behind Believe. And I just, I just love every aspect of it. It's always been one of my favorite Christmas movies and favorite movies. And uh, we have to wrap today as well. I already said that earlier, but <clears throat> gonna be a busy morning. Um, I have a lot to do. I have to go pick up my cousins. And the funny thing about my baby cousin, so the last time they were in my car, which was like last week, a couple of days ago, which was when we were baking, I had to pick them up. They got in my car and they're like, dum dum. They call me dum dum. I'm sure you guys know that. Um, they were like, you need a bigger car. <laughs> Obviously they're still in car seats and my car really in the back is really not that big. I never sit in the back, so it doesn't really affect me. But the fact is, yes, babes, I do need a bigger car. So 2021, we're getting an SUV girl. I'm, I'm like, period, point blank. And I can't wait. The spinach artichoke dip is ready. I just have to put it in the oven. I'm gonna put it in the oven right now because it's still early and I want it to be like freshly cooked for New Year's, not New Year's Eve, Christmas Eve. Finn gets out of work, I think at 2.30. My uncle gets out of work at three. So they'll be here like between three and 3.30. So that's when I'll probably pop it in the oven, probably around three o'clock. And um, I'm cooking the sliders now. I actually have to go to Walmart. So hopefully they're open. I know like a lot of smaller places like Stop and Shop and Big Y are closed for New Christmas Eve this year. Um, I think they're closed every year to be honest. But I need ranch. I forgot that the Buffalo sliders need ranch. I need ranch and just cheese. That's it for that. Um, and I don't have ranch, so I have to go get that. Um, the chicken is looking fabulous. Let's look at it, I just checked it. Here is the chicken girl. It needs to be shredded a little bit more. So it's gonna stay in here probably for another like 35, 40 minutes. So um, <laughs> I'm fucking tearing up. I hate this. Obviously still watching the Polar Express, but it's getting to the part where he gets the bell. And I, let me pause this real quick. So when I was younger, the bell was such an important thing in my childhood, which is one of the reasons why I like this movie. Um, obviously not just because of the bell, but because of what it represents. When I was younger, I asked Santa Claus to get me that bell because I wanted a bell from the North Pole and I wanted a bell off of the sleigh and um, because obviously this movie. And every year we have this tradition. I grew up very Catholic. Every year we have this tradition because obviously Christmas is a religious holiday. We had a manger outside. We had Mary, Joseph, obviously the wise men, the animals and just the whole the whole ensemble and every year the baby of the family which was obviously me so me every year i had the role of putting baby jesus in the manger at 12 o'clock christmas eve which is when we always had our parties always had like the family gathering was christmas eve so i would put baby jesus in the manger and that's where the bell was from santa claus that night and i literally just remember being the happiest child i was like literally a bell i don't know if i don't think i still have it but a bell that rung like literally i shake it and it rang it was just stupid old bell um, but it meant really it really meant so much to me and um, I just always remember that I just want to share that little moment because <sighs> that was like <laughs> the highlighted present of my entire childhood I am I kid you not like I literally it's one of the best presents I ever got because it just I don't, I don't know <laughs> I feel so stupid saying that but honestly I could have asked for a million other things and all I asked for was a little freaking bell off of Santa's sleigh girl what kind of child was I? <laughs> this was the freaking moment, girl. This was the moment when I realized I wanted this bell off the sleigh. This one single bell. I wanted that. I wanted that single bell.